as the title suggests in today's video gonna be doing some overclocking but there will be no bitmain product today i want to do something different and i will show you guys share with you guys uh, a new way on how to uh overclock your watts miner this process is gonna be the same for most watts miner series starting from m20 21 30 31 32 and even the latest model from uh, micro bd which is the m50 so and this will involve two things first is the hardware that you have to add and the second is the uh the firmware but you have the choice we're going to be doing some different uh different experiments where we just add the hardware and see how much increase we get from uh, the, the miner without without uh you you know interfering with the with the firmware itself and then we will add the firmware and try to push uh you know the, the hash rate and see how much we can we can get to so and this process also, this upgrade will work for both air cooling as well as immersion cooling. For, for today's video, uh, we're gonna be just using the uh, stock fans and run the uh, miner on air cooling and see how much hash rate we can gain from that. If you're new to, new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're interested, what we do here on our channel is we do some experiments. Uh, we bring new solutions for you know cooling, water cooling, immersion cooling as well as overclocking so if you're interested and you're a crypto mining enthusiast please subscribe to the channel and watch the video till the end all right so let me show you first all the components that you get with, uh, with with this uh, power supply kit so basically you have the parts supply itself this is gonna be sitting on top of the original one. We have the wiring here <clears throat> that we have to connect to the uh, original uh, power supply. I will show you in a moment. We have this small piece of uh, bracket that you have to, uh, to replace within the ECU with the original one. So we don't have to cut the original one so you can reuse it later. This bracket is gonna be holding the power supply on the, uh, the second power supply to the original power supply so it doesn't move around and obviously we need a second power cord this is going to be a regular one uh, the M31S is using a C19 so this one is going to be just a regular one I'm going to go ahead and install everything and show you guys how it looks like alright so it's done and it's installed as you can see it's sitting on the top so what we have here is this bracket that is you know holding it in place so it doesn't move and basically you're just using the screws from the original machine so you don't have to to drill any holes or whatever so you just take them off put the bracket and pull it back and here we have that small bracket that i was talking about that we need to remove the original one this is the original one so we remove this from here we replace it with this one and then we have our wiring here connected just make sure that these two don't touch uh, we might have to remake these because make them maybe flat a little bit so we leave more space between the plus and the minus wiring just make sure they don't touch each other that's it and for the control board obviously you cannot put it back to its original position but it, we're gonna put it slightly a little bit uh, uh, back to the rear uh, where we can hold it so we'll be sitting like this and you have enough space to plug in your C19 uh, original plug and then the other side needs the regular wiring. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back all together and we shall see uh, how it runs. Just before we start, I just wanna show you guys which unit we're gonna, you're gonna be using for today's example. So this is an M31S Watts Miner 70 tier hash and Another thing is this is a second hand unit so it's used but it's in a good shape and we will see the performance before we start doing anything so and just to add something this power supply is going to work for most uh, what's minus series 20, 21, 30, 31 and even the 50 series so this is uh, like standard so it, it can fit all the models uh, it's going to be different with in, inside for different uh, for, for for different series, but from the the outside is gonna be look the same. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and install everything and show you guys. All right, so the miner has been running for 
uh, 17, 18 minutes right now. And as we can see here, we're averaging at 69 ter hash uh, per second, which is uh, which is normal on this miner since it's uh, 70 ter hash uh, uh, M31S. So now that we have a baseline here, we can check we're still running on the uh, the normal mode for the power and temperatures here are fine 70 67 so now that we have this baseline we're gonna go ahead and install the uh, the additional uh, power supply and see how much uh, hash rate we can push uh, uh, just from adding that uh, extra power, su power supply and we're gonna run the same time so this is close to 20 minutes uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and install that and show you guys what we can do with that extra uh, power supply. Right, so the miner has been running for 30 minutes after uh, attaching the the new uh, power supply. As you can see, we've gained some hash rate here. So we went from 60, 69 tera hash to 72.5 tera hash just from uh, doing so. As you can see, the power mode here is still at normal, and the power consumption is lower actually. And the reason why is because uh, the money is taking the rest of the power from the second power supply. That's why it's not accounting for that because it's not connected directly to the to the control board. So the uh, the firmware doesn't know exactly how much uh, power is drawing from the second uh, the second board. Uh, the other thing is. Uh, what's minor actually the firmware what it does is it does the auto tuning at the at the startup if you check the frequencies here here we have 698 and the average uh, uh, the average uh, frequency for the three boards is 673 but if you look at the previous uh, when we were running on the stock uh, power supply this is where it was uh, it was at 651 for the first board, and the average was 60, uh, 6, 643 uh, hertz. So this is actually just changed just because the miner did the auto tuning, and there is uh, more power uh, available. So that's why it tuned up, it turned up the uh, power, the frequency a little bit up. Okay, so we're gonna take this a uh, little bit up further. What we're gonna do is instead of using the normal mode, we're gonna switch to the uh, so we're using the what's minor tool here, uh, control, and we go to performance mode. And uh, sorry, we have to select first the uh, the minor we want to uh, control, and then go to performance mode. You click OK, and then <coughs> you hit you have three different modes here. And we go to the higher mode and let the, the miner run and see how much hash rate we can gain from this. Okay, so we just switch to the uh, high mode. And I think it will take a while for the, for the miner to do the auto tuning again. Alright, so after I switched to uh, the highest uh, hash rate mode, I didn't gain any uh, any hash rate, so I decided to take things even further. So what I did is uh, I installed uh, a firmware, an aftermarket firmware, from this website, which is called B Big Speed. Uh, they offer uh, a firmware for overclocking the uh, Watts Miner. They have all the series here, so basically I downloaded this one, which is for the M3X series. Uh, since we have the M31S uh, miner. <clears throat> okay, so after it's very, really easy to install, so what you have to do is you need to use the uh, the original uh, What's Miner tool to install that. So after you download the file, you just go to upgrade. As you can see here, I selected the file. That's the file, and then you hit uh, start up, uh, upgrade. Once the upgrade is done, uh, you go back to uh, your minor interface, and this is where you get. And as you can see here, right now I'm sitting at 82 terahash, and show you the temperatures here. Temperatures are about 72, 71 uh, degrees Celsius. And 
the way to uh, adjust your uh, frequency and the hash rate is you get an extra menu here uh, on a minor configuration so you have you have overclocking here so basically the, the the interface is very similar to the, the original firmware it, you just get the extra the extra windows here the extra menu here uh, so what we have here is liquid cooling so if you're running immersion cooling here you have to you have to check this one but before you do that you have to upgrade your uh, power supply uh, firmware to deactivate the uh, the fans for the power supply and they offer that thing as well here so you have uh, so for the uh, M3 M3X, uh, the power supply is P21D. So you have to download this firmware and you flash it to your uh, to your power supply through the firmware here, which is very simple. And as you can see here on the overclocking page, I'm still running uh, I'm still running the uh, normal mode, but I'm using the advanced options. So I increased the target frequency to 700 instead of 650. Uh, the default was 652. And the target voltage was 1170. I just increased it a little bit to 120, uh, 1200. Uh, the other things, I didn't touch anything. Maximum voltage, uh, minimum voltage, maximum voltage, I left it uh, alone. Uh, target, uh, target temperature for the, for the hash board, I left it alone just as, as it was. And this one also the cheap OK percentage, which is the health the health of your chips. So it's sitting uh, on default at 97. The power supply, because now we have we have second power supply. So what I did instead of letting this one, because if you let it at its original limit, which is three three thousand six hundred and three thousand eight hundred for the maximum power. It will uh, overclock a lot. So what I did is, since we have the an additional power supply, so I limited the power on the the original the stock power supply to three thousand only. So it doesn't exceed that. And here you have the power, uh, the ratio uh, for you know the the power consumption to uh, you know hash rate. So a default is at forty seven. I just increased a little bit so uh, it allows more. Uh, it allows more uh, hash rate and then you hit save and apply and then you let the miner do its work it's gonna start first by uh, tuning the frequencies and everything and as you can see here it's sitting at 740 768 even though I, I, I tar my target my target frequency was at 700 only but the problem, uh, the the thing, the the thing is, the firmware how it works is it depends on how much power supply you have and the voltage you're uh, you're supplying to the to the hash board. The uh, the firmware will decide how much frequency is gonna put. So this is what we end up. At. I think this is already pretty good, running at 82 terahash from 69. That's that's a, a 13 terahash uh, increase. And the temperatures are really good, 72, 70 degrees. So I think if you, you're gonna increase more, unless you go into immersion cooling, that will that will be wise to increase uh, any further because you're gonna be running into heat issue with the uh, with the chips. So we're gonna keep it here, and we will see what we can do this in a liquid cooling uh, setup. I think we can push it even even further, but uh, as uh, as it is right now uh, with cooling fans, air cool. I think 82 will be the the best result you can get. In today's uh, video and the product we just used, I think this is a great option, especially for people that are already having these miners running, and they want to push uh, and take advantage of the hardware to you know to uh, to earn more and gain more hash rate. This is a great option and actually it's easy, it doesn't cost a lot of money and it's easy to install and you know a single product that can work for all series is it's just an easy way to go. So if you guys are interested on purchasing one of these I will leave a link in the description and you can just click on the link and go ahead and see the, all the details. And I think I'm very interested to see how this miner will handle you know overclocking within an immersion cooling setup. I will try to get it done and post like an update video. 
but I'm pretty sure it's gonna you know it's gonna do even better than any S19 uh, sorry not only S19 the S17 T17 uh, series it just showed today that the this the, you know the miners from what's minor they can handle overclock really well uh, especially when you know they have enough power enough juice you know to push the hash rate even further but in terms of temperatures these are really great because you know they have larger fans and you know the size the size of the miner itself makes a big difference so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something from today's experiment and I will see you in the next one.